At the beginning of 2020, Bridge Runner Corporation discovered that depreciation expense in the years prior to 2020 was incorrectly calculated and recorded. For the years before 2020, total depreciation expense of 165,000 was recorded, whereas correct total depreciation expense was 75,000. The tax rate is 30%. Bridge Runner follows IFRS and the deferred taxes method of accounting for income taxes. Prepare Ridge Runner's 2020 journal entry with respect to the depreciation expense that was recorded in the years before 2020. So here we're being asked to correct the year prior to 2020. So 2020 in theory is still open, so we can just correct our accounting records in that year, but we do need to have a separate entry to correct the uh, error in depreciation calculation in years prior. So if it's an error, how do we account for it? So IFRS requires us to account for accounting errors retrospectively, and that's why this question is asking us to prepare the journal entry to correct depreciation expense that was corrected in the years before 2020. So we're given the, the numbers here. So we're told that depreciation expense was, so incorrect depreciation, depreciation prior to 2020 was, we're told that that number is 165,000. And then we're told that the correct depreciation is gonna be 75,000. So what we need is a journal entry for the difference. So we're gonna need a journal entry to correct depreciation by 90,000. Now, 90,000 is of course the accumulated depreciation because Prior to 2020, depreciation expense of 165,000 was recorded. And when we correct this, we're going to put it through accumulated depreciation. So our journal entry is going to be debit accumulated depreciation And this is going to be our 90,000 that we calculated right here. And don't forget we need to take into into effect the deferred tax impact. So it says here the tax rate is 30%. So we know that the saving, so what happens here is that we are decreasing our depreciation expense. You can see that we had recorded 165, now we're only gonna have 75. So that means that our, the difference between whatever we declared for tax and our accounting records is going to decrease. So let's figure out what the deferred tax implication is going to be. So it's going to be this 90,000 times the tax rate, so 30%. So we're going to have 90,000 times 30%. So we're going to have a deferred tax liability of 27,000 because there's going to be a bigger difference between our tax and accounting, meaning that our tax would have been higher than our accounting. So we have a deferred tax liability. There's less to deduct in the future. So we're going to go debit accumulated depreciation, credit deferred tax liability because our deferred tax liability increased. Twenty-seven thousand. This is the number we just calculated right here, and the the balance of this is going to go through retained earnings because it's in the prior year. So we can't correct our income statement. So the adjustment goes through retained earnings, and it's going to be the sum of ninety thousand and twenty-seven thousand, which is going to be actually no, sorry, it's going to be ninety thousand minus twenty-seven thousand, which is going to be. $3,000 is our correction to retained earnings. And that's our journal entry to correct this accounting error.